So this is the quick walkthrough of the Surface Studio, KiCad, and the dial controller thing that I built to make using KiCad more pleasant. So using the pen, you get a mouse and you get right click with the mouse, but you really need key shortcuts to make KiCad shine. So I built this little dial controller thing. So it has a couple features. Um, they're LEDs, which I'm not really using for much right now. Um, it supports multiple layouts, though I only have the, the one that's actually for layout implemented. Um, it also has this little display, obviously. So uh, it has a couple functions. Um, it shows you what layout you're in, obviously. And when you activate a key, it shows you what the alt modes are for it. So by alt modes, I mean that while the key is pressed down, the dial will activate. And if you rotate the dial, it will do what the alt mode things are. So the human hand is actually pretty dexterous and the ergonomics of pressing a random key and then using the dial are actually surprisingly good. So we can do like, grid size adjustment, we can do, um, it supports pressing as well. So if we, uh, let's see, layer swap works the way you'd expect. Um, I'm trying to find, let's see, track width. Okay, so the way the track width control works is if you, let's undo that, undo, redo. So if you, uh, Tap once, then it'll engage the um, the tool to draw traces, and we can we can do that. And then if you press and hold, it will adjust track size. It's pretty hard to see, unfortunately, and then it'll take effect. Of course, there's also support for the all important escape key, and then rotate for undo and redo. Um, viewport controls are a little weird because controlling things with the pen and zooming is, is a little nasty, but, um, it works surprisingly well overall. 